Hello there, aspiring Tinnos. We're doing something a little bit different today, but I think it will be a lot of fun. Some of you guys from the YouTubes, as well as from the clan here on the Discord, have submitted your ribbons, and I will now go ahead and price them. I hope that all of you all, even if your specific ribbon is not being valued, will be able to take something away from this and maybe learn a little bit about how ribbons work. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So our first ribbon here comes from Dave. It's an Ulta with two good stats on it. It has critical chance and melee damage. It's master rank nine and it has been rolled to shit. And also it has a Naramon polarity not that that matters a lot okay so let's go ahead and take a look at it the first thing i do whenever i try to value one of these is that i go to uh riven dot market this is not a guesstimate these are people actually selling these items which helps you get an idea of the base price so here i want to find out what is the price of a base ribbon so that's on road and i can see here we have one for 30 and we have one for 60, which has been rolled a lot. I've also checked this on Warframe.market and it does seem that a reasonable price for your unrolled altar is 50 platinum. So that's our baseline. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the ribbon again and see if it has any redeeming qualities. Well, yeah, it has a good amount of critical chance and a good amount of melee damage. And also it's maxed out. That does mean a little bit as well, but not too, too much. So let's go ahead and move on to Semlar, where we will take a look at these stats and see if they want it. Uh, now the problem with the altar, uh, are we there? Okay. So the problem with the altar is that there's not a lot of them being sold at the moment. If you look here. Uh, the last week there has only been 22 of them in trade chat, and therefore these results are not as accurate as they would be for a ribbon like Rubiku, which appears. 10 times as often but regardless of that up here we have elemental damage that's not true obviously uh melee damage before elemental damage even with the primary and secondary arcanes but not by that much brains i can kind of buy that uh, puncture slas ignore that combateration okay this is a bunch of nonsense there are too few of them but i will say that combo, uh, critical chance critical damage always good obviously now if we take a look over here on the wiki we can and obviously you can change these stats slightly no go away all this um you can obviously see that we have some pretty decent stats here the critical chance is okay we mainly care about that because there's critical chance on the ribbon of course this can be increased with the different parts as these weapons are modular so it's okay but with a critical multiplier of two and 18 critical chance honestly it's not great, and I would probably have wanted some base damage, but not so much elemental damage, for example, that it would overwrite last as we do want that as our primary uh, damage type. Okay, so there's one more thing that we need to look at, and it's over here on Ribbon Market itself. I've simply looked up ribbons with these stats. So these are not exactly the same. They have some different stats as well. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. This one here is definitely worse. This is considered a bad positive because it's absorbing some of the stats from these two. And that's why you want the stats to be. Um, this one here, however, these two cancel out so that these are the same stats as they would be otherwise. But you're also getting reigns here, which is definitely appreciated on a melee weapon. And damage to Corpus is mostly considered to be a good negative. So I'd say that this one is actually better than the one on this code, Dave's Ribbon. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. It's been off for 18 days. That's quite a long time. It doesn't say everything because, you know, who knows how many hours this guy is online each day. But still, 18 days, that's a pretty good sign that it's, you know, it's not underpriced. It might be overpriced. So really all that this tells us is that it's definitely not worth 400. here is where my expertise comes in because now i have to make a guess i have to say that unfortunately i'm not too impressed with this ribbon there is a reason why there are not too many of them being sold in trade chat that's because it sells incredibly slow they 
more of an unpopular weapon that the ribbon is for, the less of them will be bought, simply because there are going to be fewer people using that weapon, hence why it's less popular. The stats are actually okay, but as I covered in my other video on ribbons, two positives are not that difficult to come by. I will very generously say that if you're willing to wait for a long time, you might be able to get 200 for this, but I would value this at 150, unfortunately. Moving on to the next one. Let's go ahead and take a look at these ribbons, which I think it was Sura who offered these. Yes. Sura rated R. Okay. There's not too much to say about these, but I'll start up here. This is the heck. This is difficult to read for you guys, I know. But uh, there is some puncture here, and then there is some toxin. So puncture is a bad positive, and toxin is just a neutral positive. It's not terrible, but it's not good either. It's MR10, and I can't even see the polarity, but it doesn't matter. And it's rank zero. Now, these stats on here do not improve the cost whatsoever because it's so easy to roll these stats. However, this is unranked, so that's... Yeah, no, sorry, not unranked, but it's unrolled. So you're going to have to spend less Kuva on your first couple of rolls, so that's worth something. All right, so there's a category of weapons, a huge category of weapons, which are just bad or unused. And for primaries, that's about 40 to 50 platinum in cost, and some of the really bad one is 30. Most of them, sort of the middle of the pack, is 40 to 50. This one rises above that. An unrolled heck will sell for 70 to 80. Again, I just looked that up on Warframe.market and Riven.market, which are actual selling prices, and you know that pretty much confirms my suspicion. Next up, we have the Keratinas. Again, I know it's difficult for you guys to see. I'll just read it out to you. This is the Keratinas with combo duration, toxin, status chance, six rolls, and it's MR15. So yeah, this one has rolls on it, but it's the same thing as the heck. The master rank is a little bit high, so it probably will take a while to sell. Obviously, everyone low master rank 15 will buy a different ribbon so this one would have been uh 70 to 80 if not for the high master rank and roads i will give this one the price of 55 to 60. finally we have here a unveiled kit gun ribbon and i will give this one for platinum because that's what a unrolled kit gun ribbon cost on warframe market okay moving on to some of the slightly more interesting ribbons not to uh, take anyone down a pack, but just uh, I have a bit more to say about these. First up, let's talk about the snipe run. It has critical chance, heat, and minus status duration. It's master rank 13, and it has three rows. And uh, also, I don't even remember what this is. I think it's the, it's not the Mandori. I can't remember, but it has this polarity, the line. So let's go ahead and actually talk about pricing for this base price for an unroll snipe trend is actually very low. I'm looking at it right now and I'm getting 20, 25, 30, 30, 30, 35, 35. Yeah, it's very cheap. Um, but it had, but it has pretty decent stats, so it has something pulling for it. Good snipe can actually have, they can cost an okay amount. The problem is that it's kind of overshadowed by um, other weapons like the Lanka or the snipe trend or even the Vectors actually. But um, let's try and see what this one is worth. That's what we're talking about right now, after all. So, critical chance and heat. Heat is one of the better elements you can get on a ribbon, but still, it's a elemental damage type, so not that great. Critical chance, however, that's the most wanted stat. A good negative, I would say. I think you might be able to get 60 for this ribbon. There's just nothing pulling it towards being great and as I talked about before the market is very saturated if it's not great then it's useless but I'm sure if you really push it you might be able to get 60 to 70 for this next up we have the Catmoon it has a really abysmal unrolled stat and this one has been rolled it's a relatively low mastery rank but um, still these stats do not impress me we have damage which is pretty good. And then we have Critical Chance, which is also pretty good. These are the stats you want on these. Um, but then it has Toxin. And that's probably the worst elemental type. And it's an elemental type. So it's more like it's two good uh, stats. And then it's one okay kind of baddish, which sort of, you know, reduces the value of this. So it's 
worse than getting two good stats. And also, it's Katzmon. This one might be worth 25. Might. Uh, I mean, 40 if you're willing to wait forever for it. Then we have the uh, Plague Kivar. And um, not impressed with these stats. It has a bad negative attack speed. It has a bad positive, which is damage to infested. And then it only has a okay positive with heat, but it is on road. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that might look like. Back when I was really into ribbon trading, Plague you Kivar was one of those expensive ribbons. So you wanted to get this one. Now it's pretty much worthless. I'm seeing 20, 25s front roads. Not very impressive at all. Um, the only thing that I can say is that might want to hold on to this when the plague star event comes out and a lot of people get their hands on plague you kivar at the same time the price for driven might go up but i'm not confident in that i'll give this one it hasn't been rolled so i'll just give it a 20 25. then we have our resident update poster in the general chat thank you for all your help uncle danny uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at your ribbon it's a garata it has Toxin, Critical Damage, Multi-Shot, it's Master Rain 12, and it has 7 rolls on it, as well as an error model, Clarity, and it's maxed out. So, Critical Damage and Multi-Shot are actually, assuming that is a critical weapon, the best stats you can get on a Riven. And that's because there's a lot of external sources, such as Arcanes or Warframe abilities, which gives you critical chance, but not critical damage. Therefore, critical damage is king. Also, because of the primary and secondary arcanes, a lot of weapons get a lot of base damage from that, which reduces the effectiveness of their damage. Therefore, mortar shot is often better than just having more normal damage. Unfortunately, most people don't know that, and therefore the value damage higher than um, multi shot. I've had someone ask me if you could slot a Bane or something with Heavy Calibre, which is more base damage instead of patent specific damage. Uh, and my simple answer is, you can, but I don't recommend it. We can wish upon a star that people knew what is actually good, but it doesn't really help us here. The price is dependent upon how much people think that it's worth, and not how good it actually is. Um, well, let's just mention Toxin really quick. It's actually decent on here. Uh, I would still rather have had any other elemental type. Um, yeah, that does actually bring it down a lot. And Grat, uh, not Grata, but Gragata is a pretty unwanted weapon already. I wish I could give this one a high score, but you might be able to push this one up to 200, but I'm going to give it 150 price. Here is an interesting one. Tetra is in the middle of the pack. Oh, let me read it out to you. The Tetra, critical damage, puncture, and minus damage to infested. So, critical chance, that's really good. Puncture, that's really bad. Even if it's the main damage type, I don't care for it. I do not want puncture on a ribbon ever. Uh, minus damage to infested, that's actually a really good negative. But unfortunately, the puncture is really holding this driven back. I will give it a cost of 40. However, if you had rolled critical damage, the same stats, but instead of puncture, you had gotten critical damage, or maybe even multi shots, but specifically critical damage, I would have been willing to price this at 500 to 600 platinum because that would actually have been pretty damn good. <laughs> it's just a picture of ribbon. But I guess that is what I should have expected from the Diff Master himself. L Lord Dracula has arisen from his coven to bless us with this image. Uh, well, I guess I'll just take your entire stock. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, I would like to do this again. So if you have some ribbons that you believe is worth a lot, or just some ribbons you would like me to price, go ahead and throw them in here and I'll get to it eventually. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.